There's one other component here that's huge, and that is Hicks Law, another scientific measure. Hicks Law basically says, I'm going to do layperson stuff because I'm not a scientist, that the, the, theoretically the fastest response time a human being can have is if there's one stimulus and one response choice. That if I add more choices, I slow down response time. And if I add more stimuli, I slow down response time exponentially. Now look at your defensive tactics manual, look at the average self-defense book. Our system has 4,000 moves. <laughs> and I'm going, so you have no clue what to do in a fight, right? You know? and, and obviously there are exceptions. There are some genetic freaks out there. And I always tell people, don't mistake the trademark for the truth. Unless that person is your bodyguard, the fact that what their accompli accomplishments uh, demonstrate doesn't mean that that skill is transferable to every single student. Does that make sense? In our train the trainer classes, the first thing a, a prospective instructor writes down is do not show your students what you can do, show your students what they can do. Cool? Because we all get into that. We, we learn our parlor tricks and we go, hey, and then people want to learn it and it's dangerous. You need to demystify the whole process. Questions? So the Hicks Law, it's, it's great to have a scientific measure, but what's your demo? What's the, that's the theoretical, what's the empirical? Well, if I'm over here like this, Tony does, and we'll do this slowly because we don't have any gear on and, and I'm getting old. Um, I'm talking to him, my hands are up, we all agree this is an instinctive natural position. Uh, actually, we, you can do this fast, we'll do, uh, and we'll go through a series of, of moves. So he comes in with a haymaker. Okay, do you all see? I flinch, I push away danger. I'm standing in front of him, haymaker. This one you'll have to slow down. He comes at me with a, he with a headbutt. I flinch. I push away danger. He comes at me with a left hook. I flinch, I push away danger. He comes at me to tackle me. I flinch, I push away danger. He comes at me, but he tackles this side. I flinch, I push away danger. The flinch is ambidextrous. If I say look out over here, your hands will come up. If somebody says look out over here, my hands will come up. Okay? If, because you're all police officers, I'm standing here talking to the guy with his right hand, with my right hand, I'm going to point to your left hand, but thank you for mortifying me in the class. Um, well, I meant your correct hand. Oh, the correct hand. <laughs> I hope that was real, Andy. Okay. So here we are with his correct hand, his left hand, he's going to lunge at my gun. Watch this, guys. There's the flinch and push away danger. How much, listen up, how much more significant is, is incorporating the flinch there, pushing away danger, than having a skill set that says your move starts when he has your gun. Talk about vicarious liability. Standing here talking to the guy with his right hand he grabs. And I still flinch. Do you, do you see Hicks Law here? It doesn't matter what he does, I'm doing one move. One move. 